first like of the All Stakes Late Pick 5 at Churchill Downs on Saturday, June 4th, race 7. This is the Shawnee Stakes for 6. Older Phillies and Mares going to Mount 16th on the dirt. Number five, Pauline's Pearl. At first glance, huge three to five morning line favor. You think, oh, easy single. Let's move on and just, you know, we got a free leg before we start the late pick four. But that makes her the most likely single. And you and I are both going to use her, but we're trying to beat her in case she doesn't fire. Yeah, I'm actually going to play a $5 ticket too myself and I went on actual race day. And I'm not going to put her in the $5 ticket. I loved Pauline's Pearl last time she ran at Churchill. Um, she, she ran great. Uh, she won the La Trienne. I was able to beat She Dares the Devil and Ava Grace. And she just she looked awesome beating beating uh, she dares the devil ran into CC the race before that no shame in losing to CC at all. I just am really excited about the return of army wife here and that's going to be the other horse I use and that's the horse I put on top actually. Uh, if you go back in the past performances, army wife dusted Pauline's pearl before. Um, army wife at three I believe was running against better horses specifically got Malifat and Clarier in her back uh, back races there. Her Alabama was phenomenal. The race at Prairie Meadows was phenomenal. I think she is. Got the chance to take a big time step forward first out as a four year old. Make her usually pretty good off the layoff, 14%. So I'll take that. The workouts have been good. The workout reports have been good. I, I think it's all systems go here for Army Wife. And, and if she fires her best effort and improves off her three year old numbers, she's better than Pauline's Pearl is. And you're going to get four times the price, five times the price for a horse that I think is more talented in this spot. So I'm going to put Army Wife on top. I'm going to go too deep and use Pauline's Pearl as well. Um, but I, I'll probably be a little more aggressive on race day with a second ticket and then single Army Wife here. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of uh, of Army Wife in general. Uh, since the uh, Iowa Oaks, when she did beat Pauline's Pearl by, uh, what, over six lengths? It looks like, yeah, a little over six lengths she beat her there. Um First of all, Pauline's Pearl is a horse that but probably didn't like the way that the pace set up that way. But regardless, Army Wife, that was kind of where she peaked with that career best, uh, or at the time, career best 90 buyer. Since then, Pauline's Pearl has only been kind of going up and up. And it's interesting, you bring up the fact that if she improves off of that or the Alabama number, I want you got a 92 buyer. It, improvement off of that puts her with Pauline's Pearl because our favorite is coming off of a 94 buyer when she won a grade one over this track and a 96 career best buyer that maybe was a little inflated because it was at Zia Park. So it, Pauline's Pearl at three to five, what you and I are both trying to say is that we think she is beatable here. She is beatable uh, at this price. There is not, I mean, if she had a bunch of triple digit buyers and she's, you know, if this is Latruska in this race, pff, three to five, single her, move on. But this isn't Latruska. So it's also interesting. I was I was talking to Aaron yesterday. And I was like, "Why is Pauline's Pearl still at Churchill? She just won a Grade One. Like, why is she here and she's not in the Ogden Phipps?" And I went, "Oh, that's right. Asmussen's got Clarier, so that's his a horse. <laughs> she's going to the Ogden Phipps. Pauline's Pearl gonna get a nice, maybe a two hundred thousand dollar workout. You're going with the four to try and beat her. I'm gonna use the six. Crazy beautiful. I think Kenny McPeak is sitting on a a, a big upset here with Crazy Beautiful." Um, crazy beautiful is five for nine at the distance. Uh, she's had three tries at Churchill. If you scratch off the Kentucky Oaks, the other two were very solid. Um, you notice the last time that she won at Churchill Downs was last October in the Seneca Overnight Stakes. One race after getting her ass beat by a better horse in Malathat. Well, what's happening with Crazy Beautiful? She got her ass beat by Malathat, finished sixth last time out. Now she's showing up in this spot. It, it, it it's, I'm saying that in just a little bit, but this is a huge class drop from her. And by the way, she did win a race two back. So it's not like, you know, Seneca overnight. She hasn't won since then. It's not like with Army Wife, we're trying to make it, you know, hey, maybe, you know, she hasn't won since last summer, but maybe now she can get back in the winner's circle. This is a horse that's done it. And so is Pauline's Pearl. So I'm going to use the two of them here. Uh, you're using four and five. But really, if we can get Pauline's Pearl beat, this thing is going to pay enormously, no matter if it chalks out or not. Yeah, I, I think she's going to be over single. That's for sure. Um, I, I think three to five is probably close to the off odds in this spot. Maybe it floats up a little bit to four to five. Um, I, I hear you that Crazy Beautiful is, is a little interesting. Uh, my problem is like Crazy Beautiful is raced and not progressed since those races that you mentioned. And the win you're talking about is over a synthetic track at Turfway. Mm. Um, so it, it, to me, there's just you need. And look, this is the type of horse that Kenny McPeak every now and then pops up with and wins. And so I, I'm not going to just completely bash Crazy <laughs> Beautiful in this spot. And I don't understand how Kenny McPeak tries to train his horses and move them forward because he seems like he's a little all over the place. Um, but hey, that synthetic thing worked. Was able to get the win there. And now we're in here. I mean, maybe you can get that run. I think Ava's Grace is a little interesting as lone speed, but I, I'm not as concerned about her. I think that Army's Wife and Pauline's Pearl are just a little more classy. Uh, you can kind of say the same thing about Cla Crazy Beautiful as well. So I, I agree with you. I, I think that you properly analyzed it where Pauline's Pearl probably shouldn't be three to five in this spot. And, and it makes sense to take a swing against her. Uh, especially if you're doing press tickets and for sure uh, to, to try and get around her if you can in a 50 cent ticket.